just taking a nice stroll downtown because it's nice ass weather. <laughs> Buckhead. I don't know the last time I walked in Buckhead. It's nice. It's not, it's not like New York. It's nice and chill. You walk from New York, you afraid you're gonna get mugged? Yeah. Atlanta too. <laughs> <laughs> Atlanta too, yeah. But this is Buckhead, you know? I mean, if we're at Georgia State, I could understand. <laughs> like, if you just want to go to your next class, <laughs> you'd be potentially killed. Out in these streets, dog. I'm just trying to get my degree, man. Got shot up in the back of the head. No, that really happened. Some kid got killed in the dorms, got shot in the head. What? Yeah. Back when I was like a sophomore. Straight up, man. I mean, he was dealing drugs. <laughs> But he was okay, at a school Kevin, dorm. A he was at a school dorm. So he's still doing drugs. That's how it is in Atlanta, man. We got Mart over here. Say what up. <laughs> I just told Mart to say what's up. Yeah. Fucking idiot. They're too busy over there checking out her triple D's. Yeah, this couple had the worst conversation. He was like, answer my question. Answer my question. She's like, I would if you stop looking at my child. Yeah, she was I like, can't stop I can't stop looking. You know, You're first of all, I was going to answer your question, but you need to stop looking at my chest. I was like, what? My alarm started going off. I was like, this is bad. <laughs> this is not a good conversation. I feel sorry for that guy. When customers bring in a bunch of Chick-fil-A, a bunch of chicken tenders and chicken sandwiches, this is when you don't do intermittent fasting. Oh, can't forget the cookies. I know, y'all are jealous about that Chick-fil-A. We get them platters all the time and I'm never gonna get sick of it. So, today we're doing legs and we're gonna start off with a leg press exercise. Always keep your leg, your feet positioning up high. I like to keep my toes right above that platform, as you can see. And I like to keep my foot positioning narrow. Because the wider you have it, the worse it is in your joints. And you don't want that to um, screw up the rest of your workout. Or your, your future, because you need your joints. Those knees, they will give out on you. I, I've got friends that don't even work out legs because they've got so much knee pain. So I like to keep it narrow. So we moved up two plates in this clip, but we're not just going to go from four to, to six. I, well, we're actually increasing the plate for each set. So what, that's, uh, that's seven, seven plates right there. So we've already done about four sets already. And here's Wilson doing seven plates on each side, man. He's, he's killing these days. I'm, I'm pretty proud of him, man. He's, he's come a long way in a short amount of time. So here's my set, doing seven plates. Uh, I was feeling pretty good that day. I, um, you know, and we just want to do some muscle confusion. So we don't, we're not going to start with squats. We're just doing leg press, going all out on leg press. And then we're going to move on to squats. Doing 10 plates. We're not doing drop sets today. We want to save the energy for uh, the squats we're going to do, and we're going to hit full range of motion today. That's the main goal for the squats. We're not going for for uh, heavy weight or anything. We would have done that for the first exercise, but 
the goal today is to get fatigued through the leg press and then get the full range of motion in the squats, which you're going to see in a second. Alright, now I'm just doing 135 on the squat rack, but I'm going all the way down. I'm literally touching it and coming right back up. Touching it, coming right back up. You gotta test the range. You gotta get your body used to it. I notice as I'm trying to hit more weight and, uh, you know, test my ego, uh, I'm forgetting about the full range of motion. And you're gonna, I realize that as I focus more on hitting, <clears throat> lifting heavy weight, that my range of motion really is, gets neglected. So it's always good to return back to the roots and test the range of motion and then do some, head, some light sets from there. Now I'm telling you, I'm already fatigued right now. That first set of 135, I was getting a little lightheaded. You know when you black out a little bit and you see some specs? Yeah, that's what happens when you get fatigued and go to the squat rack. Lightweight, but very effective. pump I actually had after this actually this workout today was way better than usual. And I owe it all to this full range of motion. I'm pretty toast right now. I think I'm only getting able to get about five but we're doing this for the pump and this actually helps you get stronger it helps you continue that full range of motion when you try it out on uh, heavier weight Now we're moving on to the leg extensions, but you can see I am doing an isolated extension. Now what this does is it provides a better contraction and you're going to get a much better pump. When you do it both legs, it lifts your body up slightly from your hips and you're actually helping yourself do the motion with your body weight. So that's why I do leg extensions isolated. I hold the middle of the, the seat with the handle provided on the side and then I'm actually able to lift have your weight and definitely get a much better contraction. Now we're doing six sets of these because it's not there's not that many variations, let's be honest. And when we move on to the hamstrings, we're gonna do six sets as well. And since we're trying to go to the hamstrings, we're gonna do the laying down hamstring curl and then the uh, sitting up hamstring curl that you can see that I'm doing right now. So we actually did the hack squats and single leg squats after this but uh due to uh some paranoia we thought that the la fitness uh trainers were looking at us while we were doing the videotaping that's why uh wilson's getting on the street right here but really hope y'all enjoyed the video i'll be coming back with a new video when i go to north carolina uh for a little adventure time uh coming soon all right Definitely hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. And I really appreciate your time, y'all.